Check out what's trending in this week's Afro here on The Rundown. <laughs> Welcome to The Rundown, sponsored by Be Inspired Global Media. I'm your host, Misha Green, and here are this week's trending stories. So, the Forbes Under 30 list was released. Let me just say, hashtag goals, hashtag claiming it. Shout out to the awesome people who made the list, such as some awesome young black leaders, including... Authors Tomi Adeyemi and Nana Kwame Ajay Brinia. Alexi McCammond, my Shiro, and homie in my head, who is making waves as a reporter for Axios and calling people out like basketball star and commentator Charles Barkley. Ernest Owens, writer at large for Philadelphia Magazine, correspondent for Vice Media, Antonia Hilton, and one of my favorites to follow on Instagram, Teen Vogue Editor-in-Chief, Lindsay Peoples Wagner. Congratulations to the most recent Forbes Under 30 class, Y'all better work! Also in trending news, the New York City Ballet has cast the first African American as lead in their annual production of The Nutcracker, which has been on stage since 1954. 11-year-old Charlotte Nebris is one of the four dancers alternating the lead role of Marie, and she said when she dances, she feels empowered. Watch out, Misty Copeland, and go Charlotte! Mm, breaking barriers. In Baltimore news, Spike Lee was at Pratt Library for the Hackerman Foundation Best and Next series. Lee was doing a lecture at Pratt, and though it was closed to press, you know the afro was in there, so be sure to pick up a paper or check out the article online. In DC news, trouble in Georgetown. Three players are under investigation after being mentioned in criminal complaints, while another player was dismissed and entered into the NCAA transfer portal. Myron Gardner, Josh LeBlanc, and Galen Alexander were all named in criminal complaints and have had restraining orders filed against them. While those investigations continue, 2018-2019 Big East Freshman of the Year, James Akinjo, entered the transfer portal. A source told the Afro on the condition of anonymity that Akinjo's departure comes after an ongoing contentious relationship with coach Patrick Ewing. You know the Afro will keep you up to date on all the drama off the court, and we wish the Hoyas the best. Go to afro.com to find out where you can get your copy of the Afro or just subscribe to the website for instant access. And don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe to the Be Inspired Global Media YouTube channel for more content sponsored by the Afro. I'm your host, Misha Green, and make sure you tune into next week's edition of The Rundown.